Praise the Lord. Another beautiful day. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. I just want to encourage you to seek after God in these last days. The days are dark, but we're not to focus on the darkness that is at hand in front of us. This this, this uh, shadow, this night is here. The night is here, of course, but we must be the children of light. We must be what God created us to become is the light in this dark world and to encourage those around us to follow after the cross, follow after Jesus. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I thank you, Father God, that you are that you are leading us in these last days, Father God, that you are encouraging us, Father God, that you're speaking to us, that you will never leave us nor forsake us, Father God. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I pray. I thank you, Father God, uh, that you are keeping these people from falling away, from backsliding, from, from following after <clears throat> the things of the world. There's a lot of temptations out there. And and people, instead of seeking you, Lord, they're, they're seeking after the temptations. But I want to thank you, Father God, that you keep us in your light, that you keep us in your hand and protect us. Protect your people, Father God, in the name of Jesus. All those that have contracted this lab-created disease, coronavirus. And uh, that you, in the name of Jesus, that you heal those that are sick, Father God. Raise them up from the bed, Father God. Thwart the plans of the devil, Father God. Bring confusion into their camps. In the name of Jesus, to this Satanist, Father God. Bring confusion into their camps. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, a whirlwind of confusion. And stand against them, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Those that would want to destroy your creation, Father God. In Jesus' name, I pray, Father God. Stand with your people, Father God, in these last days, Father God. Raise up the banners. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I pray, Father God. Thank you, Father God. Raise up your prophets. Raise up your preachers. Raise up your Christians, Father God. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I pray that you instill within them a spirit of boldness, Father God. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I pray. I bind the devil and I rebuke his lies. You are a liar, devil. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I pray. You who stand before God day in, day out, accusing the brethren. Revelation 12.10 says, For the accuser of our brothers and sisters who accuses them before God day in and day out has been cast down. God has already given us the victory uh, against the devil in Jesus' name. Stand up. Stand up. For God, in Jesus' name, I pray. I encourage you to stand in these last days for God. In Jesus' na name, I pray. There is no time to waste. We must follow after the Holy Spirit, after God. God's will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us of our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. The devil is a liar, and he is there to accuse the brothers. He's the devil, and he wants to destroy us. But God has given us the victory already at the cross. We are already victors in Christ Jesus. We are covered by the blood of the Lamb, and that's what God sees. He sees the anointing he sees he has put an anointing upon your life and he sees the blood the covered humans the blood of the innocent lamb that was shed for us that was spilled for us that was cast down for us that we may raise up that God may raise us up in these last days as long as it is day, we must do the work 
of him who sent me. Night is coming where no one, when no one can work. First Peter 5 eight says, Curb your passion. Be on the alert. Great accuser, the devil, is going about like a roaring lion seeking someone to destroy or devour. That's what the devil wants. He wants, he hates God's creation. That's why he's destroying the forest. That's why he's destroying a creation all around the world. And, and humans are, are his primary target. But we must stand firm in the word of God and follow after the Lord. Romans 8, 38 says, For I am persuaded that neither death nor life nor angels nor principalities nor things present nor things to come neither height nor depth nor any other creature in all creation shall be able to separate us from the love of god which is in jesus christ our lord the devil comes to accuse us and and he has he has put a weapon against you, a spirit of fear and a spirit of rejection. But stand on God's word and believe God's word, what he says about you. Do you prefer to believe the lie that the devil has pronounced against you rather than the word of God? rather than the living word of God. Because once you activate those promises in your life, they become a live living word in your life. And, and the devil doesn't want that to happen. But God wants that to happen in your life. And it will happen in the name of Jesus. Stand up and follow after Christ. It's time to stop playing games and live for God. God bless you and have a good day.